Make me a thumbnail. You're a thumbnail. Are you trying some kind of magic trick? Is that what that was? You told me to You're, make a you a You're a thumbnail. You're a thumbnail. Not there. There you go. A thumbnail image. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting Duckman Cycles production. This video tried to be an Eleanor taillight video, but it turns out that I'm missing a lot of parts to these taillights. It's surprising just how many individual components they have. And these little snowflake taillights have a lot of them. These things are just costing me a small fortune. But at least B got to have some fun with them anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a lot of stuff going on this week, from working on the lasso welding of Robert's Beetle. First I'm gonna plug the small hole, and then we're gonna plug the big one. Because <laughs> the big one's actually gonna weld to the smaller one, because of the way they kind of intersect with each other. Right. So, that pieces will go together that way. But anyway, that's on the future agenda, and it's probably gonna be coming up this week, as long as weather permits. Well, of course. To a little update on Eleanor, and even a little repair on the 350Z. This week will be a mishmash of a bunch of things that went on, so please give me a licky likey, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll be back right after that intro. Alright kids, well we're in the C-pillar area of the passenger side, or right-handed side of the car for you metric sexuals over there in uh, the Great Britain. We made a hole, and this is a compounded hole by the way. There's a hole on two different panels and the rust kind of flowed into both of them. So I'm going to patch this one first, and then I'm going to patch a bigger one which will weld right to this panel when this is in place. So that's what we got going on here. Um, I don't like all the jaggy edges that I made, but I found more rust along the edge of that after I had already cut the panel. So we'll see. I'm gonna have to patch it with another strip down the edge. Well, we'll see what happens when we get that far. Anyway, I got a little more trimming to do down in here to get that fixed too. Otherwise, this all looks good. This is a good solid panel inside of there. Yeah, it does look a little crusty, but most of that is actually just um, rust, crust, and dust sitting inside of what remains of the foam that's in here. But I'll simply get that with a wire brush when I start brushing down these welds and get it all taken care of. It shouldn't burn, I don't see why it would. Just a little bit of that foam still left in there. Anyway, once we get it heated up, it's all gonna come off anyway. That's where we're at. Let's start hacking and whacking. Well, she's patched, that didn't turn out too bad, but as anticipated, while I was working around here with the wire brush, it opened up a new hole. It did take off all of the uh, leftover spray foam stuff, death foam crap that was in there. All that stuff started to just fall off and crumble once the panel had any heat in it at all. But it looks like we're cutting another hole out of here, maybe even up to the same size as that one, and welding in another patch panel. Yeah, well, anyway, I guess we're gonna just cut that fucker right out of there. That's a nuisance because I kind of thought I was gonna be done in this area. Oh well, I guess we're cutting. Hopefully as I cut this out, it doesn't prove that there's more hole this way. Which is weird because when I was tapping on this before, it didn't show. Anyway, let's see. Nope, looks like it's just here. All right, well, we're gonna cut that out. Yeah, anyway, well, Big Blue's tire took three tire plugs to patch up. You may remember we had that flat the other day. And that lag screw that was in it just ripped out of it the other day when I had just forgotten to take care of it. And needless to say, I ended up on the side of the road with a flat tire. So Big Blue is getting a little work done. <laughs> I take that donut back off. And of course, while it got flat, by the way, it uh, started to rain. It only took me about 10 minutes to swap the thing out. I mean, I kid you not, I actually timed it. It was about 10 minutes. And by the time that I was done, it stopped raining. Of course. Anyway, we're just gonna put that tire back on, but she seems to be holding the air. Three tire plugs because Big Blue is a triple input kind of girl. All right, well, that wasn't too awfully bad. Hole is almost as big as that one was. We're kind of close to the fender, but when I reach my finger up there, I feel, actually it might be up to an eighth of an inch away. So when I weld through here, I gotta be careful where I put the heat. Otherwise, when I get on the back side, I'm gonna have to make sure the fender is cut free from the weld, which won't be too big of a deal, I guess. Anyway, I gotta clean up around the edges in here, cut a piece out, we'll get that sucker patched in. All right, here goes. Yeah, it looks like the Gulf Power guys are here. They're coming to work on my wires, which I don't know if you can see them, but they're actually caught in the tree. 
Surprised the hurricane didn't take any of that out, and that's for both houses. So anyway, he's coming to take care of that, which means I'm gonna have no juice. <laughs> All right, well, I had to move the beetle out of the way, because he was worried some of the trees are gonna hit the wires. So that's coming out. Clear spot, plenty of room for branches to fall. No worries. <laughs> well, he did a dog shit awful job up there. So I went up there with my saws all and trimmed off the rest. I mean, he did the bare minimum. I mean, the bare minimum. Some of those trees right up here. Let's see, put my finger right there. It's about that far away from the wire. It's like, it's not touching. Anyway, after he left, the tree settled and guess what? Yeah, now it's touching. And it's just a little higher for me to cut safely. So what I did, so I went down the end of the branch over here, and on this end, I trimmed around the outside of it, around the bark. So what that's gonna do, all the leaves and everything are gonna start falling off this branch, and it's gonna start drying out. And when it starts drying out, the branch is going to lift, because it's not gonna have so much weight on it. And at that point, it should be out of the way of that uh, wire, I mean, it doesn't have to go far. <laughs> I mean, just a couple inches that way and it'll be clear from that wire. And without all the leaves and everything sticking out, it shouldn't be an issue. Then we'll cut that thing off and it should just fall to the ground without much of an issue. All right, well, that's where we're at, but we'll come back to that another day. Meanwhile, we gotta continue welding on this thing. Let's see if we can make a little progress on this. All right, there we are, all patched up. Found a couple pinholes over here, so I just simply popped them shut with a little bit of welding. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna shove a panel in there now. We're gonna get this thing buried once and for all, cover it up with a piece that I made for that. And yeah, it does have an irregular corner on it, but I'll make a little piece to go on for it, not a big deal. The fact is that piece damn near fits, so we're gonna make it go in there. I didn't want to cut up a bigger piece of sheet metal, and I've got something here that damn near fits. So yeah, we're just gonna run with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some welds on this thing, hell yeah. All right, I didn't even pull Eleanor completely out of the bubble for this one, but if you look up inside of here, you'll see that we finished up the ceiling, heats and sound dampening. There's two layers in there. First the kill mat, and then the uh, fluffy heat insulation that's on the other side of that. I actually ran out. I'm gonna have to get another box of that stuff. This stuff uh, didn't go that far, but the kill mat, man, that stuff is, uh, yeah, it's going quite a long ways. I'll need a second box of both, because I gotta do the floors and stuff too, but let me show you a little demonstration here. Look, we'll go on over to this beetle. And we'll do exactly the same thing right here. And then we'll head on over to Eleanor and tap in exactly the same location. Listen to this. <laughs> I'd say that's highly effective. And the price on that, you can't beat it. So we're quite happy with that. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna order a couple more boxes of it and get this car finished up. And it should be as quiet as a Cadillac. Oh, and listen to the door. I mean, it had that assertive clunk before. I gotta fix this. Something about that door handle is acting a little goofy. But anyway, before it was kind of a, a tinny but assertive sound. Now it sounds like the door weighs 100 pounds. <laughs> oh shit. Gotta fix that handle, man. But listen, here we go, one more time. <laughs> I swear that door sounds like it's 100 pounds, it's crazy. All right, well. We're good in that department. We'll keep on padding this stuff up after we get some more stuff ordered, and we'll go from there. But that's a huge step in the right direction, I gotta say. <laughs> well, we're starting to lose a little bit of daylight, and I think I'm at a great stopping point. I wanna go over those welds one more time just to smooth them out so that way they sit nice and flat. They always look like little BBs when you just hit those spots and crisscross and get in between them. I like to just run over it real quickly. Zoop. And melt it all together. Still need to create a triangular piece for the corner, up in that corner as well. But otherwise, I think we're in a great spot, and you know what time it is? It's time for Taco Tuesday. So I'm headed over to meet Wild Bill right now, and you know what? I might just bring the camera with me. <laughs> Look, you like, you comment, subscribe, don't forget to pluck the dingle belly, we'll be back right after we have some tacos. <laughs> All right, you guys, you know what, officially, it's time to have a margarita, right? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you, Brian>. <laughs> <laughs> Why close up? Drink it, man. I did. Oh, okay. With my lens. Without a straw. I don't need a straw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, it's officially Taco Tuesday, but we're signing off. So like, like, comment, subscribe, and get plugged in. We'll see you in the next video or some crap like that. Yeah, something right? like that. Yeah, that's it. Something like that. Thanks for watching, guys. And there he is with his tacolitos. Mmm, yummy, yummy. A little copyrighted music, but we'll cover that with some other that's music. It. Cover it with, with tacos. tacolitos. I'm about three deep in these. We got another one coming. Oh. Yummy, yummy. We got there. Mmm, I've dated one of them before. Nice and creamy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, baby. We're already dipped. It's getting ready to do that. Oh, it's been a good night. Yes, sir. <laughs>